Hey, <clears throat> so I'm not really good at this, but uh, there's this book, if you're curious about the Three Card Money, there's this book I suggest. It's called Three Card Money by John Scarney. And uh, if you don't know who John Scarney is, really, really awesome magician. And uh, when he wrote this book, it's mainly for um, like grifters, buskers, panhandlers, people, people who, this is a con game, this is a game, you versus me, and uh, in principle the idea is, is that I'm supposed to deceive you with three cards. And in the book they have different uh, deceptive moves to learn, like uh, there's turnovers, and uh, overthrows and underthrows and all of that's supposed to do is to confuse you of where the pip is and the pip of course no one will ever know because that's the idea of it okay so how three card monty works is basically there's three cards two of the same card and a pip card and a basic three card Monty routine looks like this red, red, black. Okay, so where's the pip? Pip being the club. Oh, well, okay, good choice. That's right. So let's try this again. Red, red, black. Okay. And by default, people would usually go to where the pip was. But uh, that's the point of the trick. Okay, because the pip is always there. So, so when talking about uh, whether this or that card trick should count as a three card Monty, I honestly disagree. Um, I may not be a Monty artist yet, but I can say that this or that card trick is not a Monty for the fact that it is non-repeatable. Once the illusion has been concluded, you can't just turn it over and repeat the process. Okay, It doesn't work like that you're gonna have to perform some forms of maneuvers it's, it's the idea is to you know juke the, the the audience make them believe what they don't f seem is right and uh, what's what's kinda like really messed up about it is the the performance style because there's a lot of performance styles that really just don't satisfy and what I mean uh, they don't satisfy is that they they take they take what they know and just apply it to to superly overly covertly like confusingly difficult situations where it just I think it's more logical honestly for example we have our pip and our two face cards. So we're going around and throwing these everywhere and uh, I'm gonna ask you to find the pip. Well here let's change up the rules a bit. Try to find the black card. Of course the black card is right here but uh, the point of the Monty is that it's a con game. Okay it's all black cards. And uh, this is this is where I will stop talking and thoroughly suggest, if you're interested in Three Card Monty, finding John Scarney's text on the Three Card Monty.